by a chance, I would a good clean fight, you see. No smack talking each other's mamas and no landing blows below the belt. Or as my dad called it, the downstairs. You'll be judged on how good you sound, look, cost, and your features. The mic that scores the most points will be the champion. Any final words? I must break you. Uh, okay. All right, fellas. May the best mic win. Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gents, I'm Tammy Sopnewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. All right, you already know what this is. This is a versus video. The Movo VXR10 Pro versus the Rode Video Micro. Full disclosure, the folks at Movo did send me this microphone, but that's not going to factor into my decision making. As of right now, I don't know who the winner is going to be. I'm going to go through a point system. Okay, I've, I've devised a little point system. Each microphone is going to get a point if they're good in that category. And also, which one has the lowest noise floor? Now listen, I know not all of you want to stick around for all of this, okay? I know you want to just hear your samples and bounce. So what I'm going to do right up front for you guys, this is an audio sample of the Movo VXR10 Pro. This is an audio sample of the Rode Video Micro. You're welcome. If I feel the microphone is deserving of a point, it's going to get a point. Now, that doesn't mean that each one, only one can have a point. They both can have a point. Let's say for direct power. They both get a point for direct power. You don't need to put in batteries and you don't need to charge them. So they each get a point for that. And there's several other categories that I think are very important to me. And whoever wins all of these and which one sounds the best, I'm going to announce at the very end of the video. The very first test that I'm going to do is the self noise test. I'm gonna leave the noise test as is and then I'm going to boost it a little bit. Now for this noise test, I'm gonna kill everything in the room. The key light, the focusing lens, everything is gonna be turned off. Okay, so right now the microphones are right in front of me in the same place, pointing directly towards my mouth. I'm going to be using the same extension cable for both of these microphones, and I'm gonna leave the settings in the camera exactly the same. Okay, next category is build. Now listen, they're both gonna get a point for this because they're both made of metal. They're both very high quality, well-made. The grills are metal and mesh. They just can take a beating and keep going, so they both score in this category. Next category is the shock mount. They both have the same Rycote Liar shock mount, but there is a little something extra nice about the Rode Video Micro shock mount. There's a little rubber insert that, I don't know, it's a little, little extra nice. So for Rode, what I'm going to do in this instance, of course the Movo is still going to get a point, but the Rode Video Micro is going to get a point and a half. Next category is going to be the Dead Cats. Okay, now here's the situation. The Rode has this dead cat. It's infamous, everybody knows this dead cat. It's really well made. It fits perfectly on there. It's easy to put on and off. Now the dead cat for the Movo VXR10 Pro, it's a little janky. It comes with two. It comes with, of course, this foam one, which is more of a pop filter, and it comes with this dead cat. If you're using this one, you have to use the foam one. It has to go on, or you can just use the foam one. But if you wanna use this one, you've got to have the foam one on. Now you guys know when I reviewed the Movo VXR10 Pro outside, you know that it really didn't cut down on the volume at all. So I, I don't think it's really a big deal, but it is kind of janky getting it in there together. So once again, a point for Movo VXR10 Pro, but a point and a half to the Rode Video Micro. Next up are the cables. Now here's the deal with the Rode cable. It's beautiful. It's a coiled cable. Both ends have a 90 degree angle. This way when you plug it into your camera, it's not going to be sticking out onto the LCD screen. Definitely a point there for Rode. But that's the only cable they send you. If you wanna use this in any other device, like a tablet, like a smartphone, you've gotta buy another cable to accommodate that device. Now the VXR10 Pro doesn't have that 90 degree angle that's going into the camera. It does have a 90 degree angle, but that's the one that's going into the microphone. So it might obstruct the LCD screen 
a little bit, but here's the upside. You get the cable for your camera. You also get the cable for your smartphone, for your tablet. So there's a variety of cables that come with it. In my opinion, it's gonna be a tie on the cables. They both are going to get a point for cables. The next category is going to be the packaging. Now, when I say packaging, I don't mean the box it comes in. I mean, do they give you something to transport the microphone around in? So the Movo VXR 10 Pro comes with this beautiful hard shell carrying case. Listen, it's really durable. It's well-made. They're definitely getting a point for this. Rode doesn't have one. So points alone to the Movo VXR 10 Pro on that one. Next up is pricing. So right now you can pick up the Movo VXR 10 Pro for $49.99 on Amazon. The Rode Video Micro is going to set you back $69.99. That's as of right now, as I'm making this video. Do I think the Rode Video Micro is worth that $70 price tag? I do. Okay, and I know that price does fluctuate. Right now it's pandemic pricing. Everything has gone up significantly, but this has been such a staple in the YouTube community. It's trusted by a lot of YouTubers. So still, I believe that the Rode Video Micro is definitely worth the $70 price tag. But the Movo VXR 10 Pro, I mean, come on. For 50 bucks, everything that you get is absolutely amazing. So yes, definitely they're both worth their price tags. They're both going to get a point for this. Okay, we're getting down there. We're almost over. The next category is going to be audio monitoring. Is there a way that you can monitor the audio, let's say, if these are plugged into either your phone or your camera? So the Movo VXR 10 Pro, yes, it does have a headphone jack so that you're able to monitor your audio. And the Rode doesn't have one, so obviously point to Movo. Next category, sex appeal. Now, come on, it's true. We all want our gear to look cool. Come on, I'm not the only one. I want my gear to look super cool. And I think both of these microphones really do. They're basically very similar. They have the same colors, you know, the body style. So they're both getting a point for sex appeal. Last category, overall value for your money. For the money that you're spending, which one is the better deal? Now this has nothing to do with the price. Okay, the price is the price. I think they're both worth their price, but which one is the best buy? And clearly I'm going with the Mobile VXR 10 Pro because it's only 50 bucks, you get everything that you need. You get all the cables for whatever device you're putting into. You get that nice hard shell carrying case. I think the overall value, it's the bet, it's the, the Movo. Movo wins. Now for some vlog style audio. Microphone A is sitting on top of my camera. This is an audio sample. All right, now microphone B is on top of the camera and this is what you can expect your audio to sound like if you're using this microphone for vlogging. If you wanted to leave microphone A on top of your camera while you stand back a little bit, this is the audio that you can expect to hear. And this is what you can expect to hear if the microphone is on top of the camera and you're using it for dialogue. This is an audio sample. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna take the SD card out of the camera, listen to the audio samples back to back, and what I'm listening for is the overall sound quality. Does it sound rich and full and smooth? Does it have just the right blend of highs and lows and, you know, are the mids clear and not muddy? You know, I'll just have to listen to everything. And of course, that self noise, you know, what is the noise floor of the microphone? Okay, here's the thing. I've always said this. Audio is very subjective. You could hear a microphone and absolutely fall in love with it. And I could hear that same microphone and find a bunch of flaws with it. When I listened to both microphones with my headphones, to me, they were indistinguishable. I really had a hard time finding any differences between the two, even the noise floor. The noise floor sounded identical between the Rode and the Movo. Now in this instance, they both get a point for sounding really good with great clarity, great body. I found the noise floor to be, I mean, it was there, but it was very, very low compared to some other mics. So the winner of this versus video goes to the Movo VXR10 Pro. I forgot to put my hair light back up, but oh well. 
Now, just to give you some perspective on how I scored everything, the Movo beat the road by three points. So with a total of 13 categories, the Movo scored a 12 and the road scored a nine. I feel like, you know, we have answers like this argument is finally settled. The Movo VXR10 Pro is now like the new king of logging microphones and budget studio microphones for me. Listen, if you have a different outlook, please let me know. If you think the road scored higher in the comment section below, please let me know where you think I misjudged the microphones. I would be very interested in getting your feedback. Well, I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad just to say how much you love them.